A cybersecurity firm just discovered a piece of malware on the dark web that is designed to target energy grids, meaning anyone with some hacking skills could have used it to shut off the power across whole countries. The malware is called Furtum, and the security firm that found it is called Sentinel One. They say they found it on a hacking forum. Hacking forums have lots of bad stuff on them, but Sentinel One says Furtum is different in that it's highly sophisticated and that it appears to be made by hackers working for a government. A representative from Sentinel One said that Furtum appears to be specifically made for government spying operations to target European energy companies using any version of Windows. Apparently, whoever made it knew Windows inside and out. To quote the Sentinel One rep, Furtum is cyber espionage at its best. And there it was, just sitting on a forum for anyone to access. The prospect that one human can shut down the power of an entire country is really scary. Which is why Homeland Security and the FBI have built a nationwide program to warn power companies about such threats and to teach them how to keep themselves as secure as possible. Which is great, because according to a survey by Tripwire, a digital security firm, more than 75% of IT workers in the energy sector said that they had experienced at least one successful cyber attack in the past year. And more than 80% said they're sure another attack is imminent. Here in North America, our electrical grid has about 475,000 miles of high voltage transmission lines, as well as thousands of power plants, distribution lines, and substations. A recent report put the price tag of shutting down just part of that at well over a trillion dollars. Not to mention countless lives lost in hospitals without power, transportation guidance system failure, and other nightmare scenarios. So to hear that this malware is just hanging out on the dark web is scary news. But the scariest part is this new age of cyber warfare has only just begun. Tonight, let's talk about that.